वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स यू आर वॉचिंग द सीरीज ऑफ रिएक्ट रिडक्स फायरवेड सिंपल ब्लॉग एंड हेयर इन द रिडक्स वी आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग रिडक्स थंक हेयर एंड वी आर यूजिंग द फायरवेस ऑल्सो सो एज दिस इज अ पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ दिस होल सीरीज सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप अवर प्रोजेक्ट सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द रिएक्ट ऐप सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द रिएक्ट ऐप and we will set up the firebase for us also and then for the ui we are going to use react bootstrap we will all we will add all dependencies today that we are going to uh, do here in the project here for the down and also we are going to use redux here so now without wasting any time let's start creating the project from create react app this is the empty project here so here we are going to first of all create our create react app so let me open cmd here so i am opening the windows terminal here and then here i am going to run npx create react app and dot because i want to create this app under this folder only and my app name will be project here So that's why I have wrote here dot here. Now when I will press enter, it will install the npx first, then it will create the React app for us. So our app is successfully installed here, and I also opened our app in the VS Code and cleaned our app here. I just simply added one this uh, removed extra data from the public folder here. and in the source folder also and i have removed the unwanted css in the index.js in the app.css also and our server is also up and running on the local host server at 3000 port now let's move further and we will first of all set up the redux here So let's set up the Redux first. So now I am opening the terminal here. Press Control plus J in the VS Code to open the terminal, or you can use Control plus Backticks. Now here, since I am using Yarn here, so I am going to add Yarn add Redux, and then React Redux, and then we want Redux Dev Tool extension. and last we want the redux thunk so we are going to use the redux thunk also because we want to do any many asynchronous tasks here for the firebase so if you are using npm then you can use npm i npm i or npm install and these things here simply press enter this will install the redux and its all related dependencies for you so as it is installing let's create one new folder in the source here that will be for the redux and i'm going to create one new folder here three folders we are going to create under a redux first will be types and here our all types will be files will be the so action types files and then we want action creators this is a action creators folder here and then we want reducers so this here our all reducers will be kept so first of all let's create here index.js file so in this index.js our all reducers we will combine the all reducers here so let's do that so first of all let's import combine reducers from react redux so let's do it again so here i'm going to create one constant that will be the root reducers root reducer and here we are going to use combine reducers and this combine reducers are from the redux here 
so we are going to import it import combine reducers from redux let's go ahead as this is an object here and we are going to so export default this root reducer here and here first of all we will mention the auth and we will create the auth reducer and this auth reducer will be imported from the import auth reducer from one level up in the reducers sorry as it is in the same folder in the same folder there will be the auth reducer so let's create a new file here and that will be file of auth reducers uh, so I have to these two files let's create one file again here that is auth reducer dot js here here first of all we are going to add the initialize state initial state first it will be is logged in if the user is logged in or not that is false by default and then we want the user so it is false here and the user by default is null and then we want user id here user id and by default the user id will be null here as we know the reducer is a function here that is a pure function so here we are going to create the function that is auth reducer and it will be having the state and state is our initial state by default and then we are having the action here and I am destructing it from the action that is action type and payload from the action here so you can do like that and then I am just exporting it export auth reducer default auth reducer here we are not going to set any types for now when we are going to work with the login system then we are going to set up the types here so here I am applying the switch statement switch and it will be on the type it will match the type here here just I am writing default as return state it will just return the state for now now this auth reducer is also working so why I am getting this error here let's save it so we should not get any error so let's see what error we are getting here so here this should be comma so we are combining the reducers here so root reducer is here export exports exports default root reducer export default root reducer now it is working perfectly and now let's move further and let's go to index.js so first of all in the redux here so let's create the store here so here i'm going to create store.js in this redux folder here so here first of all we are going to create the store so store is equals to create store and this create store will be imported from the redux only 
and it will take two things first is our reducer so that is the root reducer root reducer and root reducer will be important from the root reducer from one level up uh, sorry in the same folder in the reducers and then as we are having the index.js in the reducer so we don't have to write any index.js here and the second thing we need combine with dev tools extension compose with dev tool sorry this is compose with dev tool extension so this will help us to map all the data what is in our redux here and here we will apply the over the one middleware here so apply middleware that will be the thunk here so let's create the middlewares here so middlewares and here we will define add the thunk from the redux thunk here as in the array here and we will pass the middlewares with the this spread operator so this will uh, this array will iterate over it again and again let's save this now and we have to export the store also so export default the store defult save it and now we are going to index.js here first of all we have to define the provider here and this provider will be from the react redux here and here we have to add the store here so I'm going to add the store and this store will be imported from the so we have import uh, this store is there so let's import the store so import store from same folder in the redux and there is store.js file so we have imported this store here now let's save it and let's see is it working or not so let's reload our firebase blog here and we are getting our dev tools extension here see that and here we are getting the state here that is auth state so this means that our redux is applied successfully as we have set up our redux here so now let's create our the firebase project here so just let's click on the add project so here I'm going to write firebase blog tutorial so firebase, uh, firebase blog tutorial is there and then simply click on continue I don't want analytics here just create the project so this will create the project for us so as the, our project is creating here so let's go to the terminal here in the terminal let's clear this up let's add the firebase first so here I'm going to add write yarn add firebase so if you are using npm use npm install firebase here so the, our this dependency is installing here and our project is also created successfully let's click on continue here this will open the fire firebase project for us so now let's create here a web app so because we are going to use our firebase in web app only so i'm going to use firebase blog tutorial and let's register on our app here so this will bring us the firebase sdk for us so I'm going to copy this whole SDK, copy this and let's click on continue to console here. Our app is added successfully. Let's go here and our package is still installing. So let's wait for that. And here in the source folder, I'm going to create one new folder and that will be of config here. And under this config, I'm going to create one new file that will be firebase yes so 
here first of all we are going to import firebase from firebase slash app here because we have to initialize our app so that's why I am writing like this here and our app is installing so I am not going to save it here and let's paste over the credentials here so I am going to here these are our credentials here so we are going to use firebase dot so it will be const fire firebase dot initialize our app here so here I'm going to use firebase config now let's wait for a while till our dependency is installing our dependency is successfully installed here and see that here our firebase app is successfully initialized so now we have completely set up our project here and from the next video we are going to start the admin panel first so we are going to do the admin panel first then we are going to do anything further later on so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in my section i will definitely respond to that at last thanks for watching i will see you in the next tutorial